I'm Chris Zoller, I'm an Extension Educator, Ag and Natural Resources in Tuscarawas County. Today we're at Lap Farms in Coshocton County. My name is Jason Massey. I'm with Lap Farms. We farm corn and soybeans, just a little bit of wheat this year. So it's a soybean field that we're gonna be applying sulfur in replicated strips across the field to evaluate whether we have a yield difference. We bought a drone, my wife and I bought a drone last fall. We're doing some custom work, we're doing some personal work. We wanna go that route to eliminate tracks in the field. We have some studies back here behind us where we post, post herbicide application beside the ground rig so we know what the tracks will do versus no tracks with the drone. As rough as some of these fields look, I don't wanna go in, especially this year, and, and run over more beans. Uh, so that's that drone is gonna be a real good tool this year for this, this trial. You know, Jason and other farmers that are growing soybeans across the state, many of them are facing the same issue and that's, we sort of get a yield plateau. It's gotten to this point, what can we do to try to, to bump that yield? And so that's one of the things we're gonna to try to evaluate and see, does it make a difference? In this trial, we applied liquid sulfur at the rate of two gallons per acre and four replications with and without sulfur. The plot was planted May the 16th and harvested November the 4th. And the averages of the treated plots ranged from a low of 55.1 bushels per acre to 60.3 bushels per acre. Averages of the untreated plots ranged from a low of 51.9 bushels per acre to a high of 57.1 bushels per acre. Results of this treatment were statistically significant. So did we make any money? Accounting for the application and product costs, the aerial application treatment had an expense of $17.23 per acre. This includes $13.50 per acre as an application cost and $3.73 per acre for the enhance. Taking a cash price of $12.30 from a local elevator on the day of harvest, we show total returns of $710.94 for the treatment and $667.89 for the control. Taking out the costs, we see a return of $692.77 for the treatment. This netted $24.88 with the drone application of sulfur over the control. In summary, this study showed that in this season's conditions, a drone applied sulfur treatment showed a significant return on investment. How has evolution of technology changed our farming? Oh boy. You know, if our grandparents were here to watch what we do today, from whether it's at the grain bins, or whether it's at the irrigation, or whether it's planting corn or harvesting corn, it's nuts. You know, there's been a lot of advances uh, in production agriculture. Um, the technology is tremendous. The ability to, to auto steer or precise applications of uh, herbicides and other products is pretty amazing. So there's been quite advancements in, over time. The best A&R educator, how's it working with him? He's got some room for improvements, but we'll get there with him. He's learning a lot of curves down here and he's doing good. We're glad to have him because uh, there's a void in this county and he's doing a great job filling it. Hey, they're great. <laughs> now, Lap Farms, uh, known them for a long time and Jason's a great addition to the farm, great to work with and really appreciate their cooperation. Want to learn more? Visit the link on screen to get your copy of this year's eFields report.